Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can find me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. This is my floss tube channel where I talk about all things cross stitch and anything else I feel like. Um, this is episode 54. Today, tonight is April 26th, 2022. Um, this video is going to be a quick whip update and then an unboxing of two forbidden fiber um one is a kit and one is a treasure trove um so i am super excited so i will probably speed through my whip and um a previous finish that i have that i keep meaning to show and um oh i just remembered another previous finish i'll show that one in the next video um and so um, I will try to speed through everything so that we can get to the unboxing because I'm super excited. Okay, what do I wanna start with? Um, I guess we'll start with kind of like a quick update. So yesterday, Monday, April 25th was my dad's birthday. He would have been 72. Um, I actually did not stitch yesterday. Um, I probably have had the best grief day, if you want to call it that, I guess, um, on his birthday. I felt like I finally got to a place where I could just reflect on the day and not feel overwhelming grief. Um, and I've, I, my journey of dealing with the grief of my dad's passing for the last six and a half years has been really rough. Um, I think it was about four years in that I finally got to a point where I could like talk about him without crying. Um, and so this is the first like big day that I've been able to just sit and reflect and not feel overwhelming grief. And that is a really big milestone for me. <laughs> so I just, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do whatever I want. I had time to stitch, but I didn't want to stitch. I just wanted to just relax. So um, that was Monday and then this weekend my son turns two and I can't believe it. It's flying by too fast. Um, and so I'm really, I mean, we don't have any plans because we're going in May to visit my mom and my stepdad. And so we'll do, you know, a little get together there with them. And my best friend is coming up from Phoenix with her son, who's the same age. And we're going to basically have like a little mini birthday party. So, um, I'm super excited for all of that. Um, let's see. So that kind of brings me, so I think it's two floss tubes ago. I filmed in a hotel because I was in Bakersfield, which is two hours away, doing a three week trial. And I'm sure everybody has uh, figured out now what trial actually is by watching the coverage of um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's libel case. That has been very interesting to watch from a legal perspective. Not going to talk about it here, um, but when I was getting ready for my trial. My mom came for the first week to watch the kids. And when she arrived, um, she had been at my grandpa's house and she said, um, grandpa has something that he wants me to give you. And so I'm sitting there like, what the heck does my, my grandpa doesn't give presents. So I'm like, what, what is my grandpa giving me? <sighs> she comes, Mm, I'm gonna cry. She comes walking towards me with this and I just start bawling. Um, in my very first floss tube, I talked about the biggest piece, like the first big piece of cross stitch I did. And it was something that I made for my grandma. And I gave it to her about mm, six months before she died. 
and um, after she died, it went to my grandpa and he kept it and um, in his office. And um, I always knew that whenever he passed, it would come back to me. Uh, my mom had already told me that, that she, she didn't, not that she didn't want it. She just, she wanted it to go to me. So my grandpa decided it was time to send it up to me. Um, oh gosh, this, this, this piece really means so much to me. There's so many mistakes in here. Um, but it was the first big piece. It has a lot of symbolism in it that represents really meaningful things to my family. Um, so I have now put this in my daughter's room. Um, so, okay. So the reason this is so special to me, one, <clears throat> my grandma woke up every single day saying the verse that is going around here. And it's, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And, um, so my entire life, like that, if I could remember one verse for my entire life, it would be that because it's just ingrained in my head. Um, and then my grandparents only had two kids. They had my mom and my uncle. Um, and these two look like my mom and my uncle. And um, so when I finally framed this and gave it to my grandma, it was after my uncle had passed. And so this was really special to us. And um, so then when my mom gave it to me, uh, she said, you know, this is Amelia and Jackson and, oh man, it just was full circle, you know? So, um, that is why I put it in my daughter's room. Um, and, oh God, looking at this and seeing all of my mistakes is just horrific. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. I remember I spent so much time on this. My French knots are atrocious. I remember one of these bows on the corner is off. I like, I remember it was the last bow I did. And for some reason it was off and I just could not go fudge it. Or I could, I, I couldn't go back and redo it. I had to fudge it. Um, but, oh yeah. So, and because this stayed in a hoop for so long, you can see the outline of a hoop right there. Oh man. Um, so that was, oh gosh. I started that when I was in high school and I finished it when I was in college, I think. Um, and then I framed it when I was in law school. So that has spanned a very long time. Um, so that was my previous finish that I wanted to share. Um, it's a leisure arts pattern. It was in a book. I think I shared the book. I found it and I think I shared it in like my second or third floss tube. If you go back way, way, way to the beginning um, and you wanna see it, I, I can see the picture of the book like in my head. Um, I have no idea what it was called. I remember it was primarily blue and it had like a wreath with some birds on it. Um, but there's a lot of really good patterns in that one. Um, but this is the one that I, this was the only one I did out of that. So, okay. Whip. One whip that I have worked on got quite a bit done to me, um, at least. I decided, um, I mentioned a video or two ago that I was really wanting to work on Dreaming Girl. Um, so... I pulled that out and this is Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna. That's what it looks like. I am making a lot of modifications to it um, because this pattern reminds me of Merida from Brave, the Disney Pixar movie. Um, so I've changed her dress so far, but like I will be changing the lighthouse, the houses, and then down here is supposed to be kind of like a winter village and I will be charting uh, Merida's castle in that space. So the last time you saw this, definitely was in 2021. Um, and so I, it's still in the Q-Snap because I'm still working on it. 
Um, I've done all of the under hair. Under hair? That sounds funny. All of this, the, the second layer of the hair. So this, this dark hair is what I've been working on. Um, and it does go a little bit quicker than I was expecting. I've also misplaced a couple colors and I have no idea where they are. I cannot find them anywhere. So like the color that needs to be filled in here and here and then like on the flowers over here, you can kind of see one. Um, I can't find that color anywhere. Um, the color that goes in here to fill in all these uh, Quaker motifs, I think is what these are called, the stars, is this dark hair color. So um, I'll probably be do that at some point. Um, well, I mean, obviously I'm going to do that at some point. I probably won't do it right after I finish this because I'm going to be so tired of working on this color and I'm going to want to do something else. Um, and then this, in the picture, it's a key and I modified it to look like an arrow because Merida is an archer and so I'll do back stitching for the feathers on the tail of the arrow. Um, and then I changed the dress colors. So, um, that's the most, that's, yeah, that's everything I've modified so far. Um, most of the modifications are going to be to all of the stuff up here and down here. So, um, and then this fabric is a 14 count Ada by Be Stitch Me. It's, um, oh, do I have the thing in here? I do, it's Black Ice. It was from her Winter Solstice box, oh Lord, um, a while ago. Uh, it would have been 2020. Um, I really like this color though, it's really pretty. Uh, so I, once I pulled this out, I was like, oh, I forgot how much I loved this. Um, and then I, I bobbinated, these and they're in a floss buddy Woo! from bags plus a mini mouse floss buddy that miraculously amelia has not stolen from me she's obsessed with mini mouse and then my project bag was made for me by my friend dawn and this is fabric that she made that she did her own hand lettering and she made it and it's my favorite bag i love it um so that's the only whip i have so if that's all you want to see, you don't care about some forbidden fiber, which you should, but if you don't care about it, I will see you in my next video. Um, oh, oh, the murder mystery event with Black Needle Society was this weekend. That was on Saturday. That was so much fun. I stayed on the Zoom the entire time. It was so fun questioning all the witnesses. You could definitely tell who has legal experience <laughs> because some of these questions, I was sitting there like, she must be a lawyer. <laughs> and then sure enough, uh, a couple of them were. Um, I guessed, because they posted everything about it, I, get, I guessed right about who um, the murderer was and why. Um, I guess that she poisoned the, the decedent, um, but I put in a different poison. Like I looked up an actual poison of what I thought it would have been. Um, it ended up being the Kanka she was using for a toothache, which I've used that before. So I was sitting there thinking, there's no way you could poison somebody with that. <laughs> Apparently you can. Um, uh, this video is gonna get flagged. Uh, <laughs> so, but that event was so much fun. I did not stitch at all because I was watching my kids while I was listening to it, but I had it on, I even like, I had it on my iPad and I even like took it with me when we went to go get lunch at one point and it was just, it was so much fun. Um, so that was their, their murder mystery event and the box, I did an unboxing. It's the last video on my channel. And, um, if you want to see what was in it, that was a really good box too. My favorite pattern still by far. So now if you do not care about unboxings, you I, I bid you adieu. Um, okay, so I have two things from uh, Forbidden Fiber. I have the Bridgerton, the Viscount box, uh, mystery cross stitch kit. And then I have 
the Yellowstone box. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm really excited for both of these. Um, okay. So I think I ordered the, I, I looked it up. I ordered the Yellowstone box first, but it came today. I ordered the Bridgerton box second and it came on Friday. I know that they were having um, supply chain issues. So I think that's why it kind of came in a weird order. Um, I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> so I knew I was going to purchase the Bridgerton one because I bought the Bridgerton one last year for season one. Um, and so when I saw that they were coming out with a Yellowstone box, I okay, my video cut me off. So I knew I was going to order Bridgerton. And when I saw the Yellowstone box, I was like, oh, I love Yellowstone. And I was like, mm, really want it, but I need to be good. I've had a lot of boxes recently. If you've noticed, my channel has basically become an unboxing channel. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna order the Yellowstone box. So I decided to say something to my husband and just like, oh, my favorite cross stitch company is making a Yellowstone theme box. It's like, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. I have no FOMO at all. I'm, I'm not gonna order it. I have too much, it's fine. And he just looks at me and goes, just order it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> that is how I ended up with both. But after this, we will go back to my regular, regularly scheduled programming of, of only unboxings probably once every couple months when I get Black Needle Society boxes because I'm like, okay, now I really need to tone it down. Um, so, <clears throat> up first, this is a Bridgerton mystery kit, cross-stitch kit. Um, I got the 32 count Belfast linen. It was $69, $4.50 for shipping. So it was a total of $73.50 US doll hairs. Um, the, this is a really pretty flower. It looks like a rose. Um, I know that they hand dyed these and this is Lady Whistledown's uh, logo. <sighs> Y'all need to talk to me in the comments. What did you think about season two? For those of you who have read the books and watched the show, how did you how did you like the differences? At first, I wasn't sure sure about it. Um, I wish that they had focused more. Uh, spoilers, by the way, please. Um, I wish they had focused more on Kate's uh, aversions to thunderstorms and like the whole backstory with her mom because I really enjoyed that in the book. Um, so I was a little bit. Um, and like the emotional uh, relationship that develops between Antony and Kate. I kind of wish they had explored that a little bit more. Um, I, I have come to look at them separately. And I think that's the best way for me to do it because if I compare them, I'm just gonna be disappointed because as everybody knows, the book is always better. So um, I'm just, I'm gonna look at them separately. So on its own, season two was great and I really liked it. Um, but when you compare it to the book, I think there were certain things that really frustrated me. Also the storyline of like Kate and um, Edwina, like Edwina getting mad about the whole Kate and Anthony thing and going so far as like the wedding and like all that stuff and that, I just, I didn't really like that um, because that's not Edwina, you know? I felt like that was the only thing that really was not on brand for her. And somebody I talked to, and I can't remember who it was now, they liked that change because in the book, Edwina is just kind of blah, which like, I get that. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, they had such a good sister bond though in the book. And so like that friction kind of hurt my heart. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed the season. Do I think it was better than season one? No. Um, the book is definitely better than the first book though. The Kate and Anthony story is like, I haven't read all the books, but 
Kate and Anthony so far, their stories like can't compete. So anyways, um, let's find out what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, all right, let's look at all the flaw. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. We have, oh, we have a bookmark and it's double-sided. So on one side it says, it is not a man's appearance or title that will woo you. It is his mind and spirit that will court yours. He will speak in a manner that only your heart can hear. And that was spoken by Kate. And then words of flattery are beautiful and sweet, but they are also hollow unless accompanied by action, which was spoken by Antony. This is really, really cute. And I like that it's laminated because I feel like this would have just been destroyed if it wasn't laminated. So we got some floss. Um, the floss in the first box is some of my favorite. I've reordered some because I've, I've used it in other um, patterns. And so, and I can see here that some of these colors are the same as the previous box, which I'm totally okay with because those, those colors were fantastic. So the first color is Masquerade. This is um, a, um, the, one, not a new color. I'm like, what? what is the word I'm searching for? I don't know, but it's not a new color. This is from the last Bridgerton box. It's a nice green color. I've reordered this color. Um, I think a couple skeins of it because I really like this green. Loquacious, it's a yellow. This was also from the first box. Tenacity, which is kind of like a, a light skin color. This was also in the first box. Viscount is like a maroon. This was also in the first box. Meddlesome, this is new. Um, this is kind of like a, mm, it's like a plum cranberry. It's not red, but it's, it's not purple. It's kind of like a, it's like a dark magenta. I really like that color. Melodramatic, it's a brown. I think this was in the first box. There is a helicopter flying around above us. Um, that, we don't live in an area of Fresno where that happens often. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a little concerning. Um, confession. It's a light purple. It's like a lilac. Oh, what's this in the first box? Uh, you know, I think it was, looking at the numbers of all of these, I think it was Confession and Melodramatic were in the first box. Meddlesome is definitely new. And then the Duke, which is a really dark, this is close to a black. It's like a gray black, but it has a hint of blue. Um, this is the Duke. This was also in the first box. Love those colors. Um, do I want to? Ooh. Uh, we have a needle minder from Twin Mommy Creations. It is a hat. Well, it looks like a hat with a B on it. Um, bees are really significant in Bridgerton, if you don't know, um, because, uh, the father of all the kids, he died from an allergic reaction to a bee. So, um, that, that plays a really significant, ooh, a really significant, uh, role in the book. Um, well, and for Antony finding love. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna, this is interesting. Okay, this is new. So um, here's the fabric. Like I said, it's a 32 count Belfast linen. It's called Parliament. It's, oh wow, this is a nice color. It's, it's like tan and pink are the primary colors. Um, oh, but in this lighting, I think it's, it's, 
I feel like there's more pink to this than what's showing up on camera. Um, I really like this. I really, one thing I can count on with Forbidden Fiber is getting neutral fabric colors. I already get like not neutral colors from Fiberlicious, um, from the Fabric of the Month Club. So I really enjoy being able to get neutral colors in these. Um, so this is different. This I haven't had in a kit from Forbidden Fiber before, but they've provided the materials to finish the pattern like the model. And dun, 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 there it is. So there's Kate and Anthony and Newton. Look at Newton. Newton's the dog. So it says, you have to live each hour as if it's your last and each day as if you were immortal. Oh, I love that. Um, it's in the same style as the, um, the first one with uh, Daphne and Simon. I, like, I love quotes from, from the show and the books. They're so good. They're so relevant. But it looks like they've made it into a pillow. So it looks like they've provided the fabric that'll go on back and then this lace trim. How exciting. Um, so I haven't stitched the first pattern. I don't know if I will, only because um, the style is not really a style that I stitch. Not that that really matters, because I, I stitch things all the time that are my style. But I, I go back and forth about if I'm going to stitch it or not. Um, if anything, I would probably stitch the quote because I really like the quote and just kind of do a quote, like a running quote thing um, to eventually be able to hang up in our bedroom. I don't know. That's kind of something I'm toying with. Um, so this is fun. I love this project bag. And as always, I love their floss. Their floss is my favorite. If I haven't said it a million times, their floss is my favorite. So that is everything in the Bridgerton Viscount kit. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. I have no idea what's in this. I have avoided spoilers, although I don't think I've seen anybody post about it. I know Courtney got hers tonight too, and she just posted her video, but I haven't watched it yet. I'll probably watch it when I get done filming this. So if you, okay, if you have not seen Yellowstone, please go watch it. It is fantastic. It's like, I was trying to think of it the other day of like how I would describe it to somebody. It's like if Breaking Bad and Sons of Anarchy were taking place on a ranch. But also with a lot more politics. So what kind of show has more politics? Oh, 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 House of Cards. So maybe a little bit of House of Cards, a little bit of Breaking Bad, a little bit of Sons of Anarchy, and all of that bundled up and uh, taking place on a ranch in Montana. Sounds great, right? Um, so I really enjoy it, plus Kevin Costner. Rip is my favorite. He's everybody's favorite. Um, oh, it looks like they have a new box that's going to be game themed. Got Pac-Man on the back and this looks like Mario. Uh, that looks like a fun. Okay. Everything is like perfectly wrapped. <gasps> I see a cowboy hat charm. I don't know what it goes to. Um, we definitely embrace the ranch life here in Fresno. Um, like I wear boots on a daily basis. We're surrounded by ag. It's, it's become our way of life. Okay. Right off the bat. Wait, look at the little cowboy hat charm. How cute is that? <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. 
there's a note in here from Leanne. So, <laughs> a lot of pressure to do it justice. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Um, <laughs> what can we say about the Dutton family? Do we love them? Do we hate them? Are they good guys or bad guys? I feel like it totally depends on the episode whether they're good or bad. Um, also, Casey. Rip and Casey. Dreamboats. Um, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Mmm. Brett is going to probably eat all these. So there's some sunflower seeds. Um, I'm just going to set those aside and let Brett have those because I know that's... <laughs> He'll steal them anyways. Um, so we thought that these would be perfect hands-free snack while chasing down cattle wranglers or knitting. Uh, and they are naturally biodegradable. Um, the next thing is a deck of cards. So fun fact, I used to collect decks of cards. Everywhere I went, I would get a deck of cards to like remember that place. Um, I got rid of most of them. I kept a select few. So decks of cards have a very special place in my heart. Um, and they play a lot of poker in the show. We can't all unwind in the bunkhouse with our buddies after a long day, but we can use these playing cards to play a fun card game alone or with a friend. My favorite thing to do when I'm alone is to play solitaire. Um, or doing, oh, what is that game? I can't think of what it's called, but I do it by myself, even though you can do it with, is it speed? I think it's speed. Um, you technically are supposed to play it with two people, but um, I usually play it by myself. Uh, la, 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 la. What is this? Orange brandy lip service. It looks like chapstick. Trail riding is tough. Keep your lips soft with this homemade chapstick that was made especially for this box. The smell of oranges with a touch of brandy seems like the perfect flavor for a cowboy. I feel like Brett is probably gonna steal this from me too. Let's see. Oh, I am a chapstick lover. I always have to have chapstick on me, so I'll probably try this. I, I am very loyal to one brand of chapstick, uh, which is the Jack Black Shea Butter Chapstick. You can get it at Ulta or Sephora, in case you're wondering. Um, there's other places too, but that's where I get it. Um, but I will try this because I'm always looking for the next best chapstick. Um, a koozie, a Dutton Ranch koozie. This is great. Rounding up cattle is hard work. Keep hydrated with a nice cool drink of water wrapped in your Dutton Ranch koozie. Water? No, my friend. There will be beer in here. <laughs> I, I, uh, so my first thought was, oh, I'll take it with me when I go to Arizona. But the problem is, is my parents also watch Yellowstone and I could totally see my mom or my stepdad stealing this from me. I mean, I'm joking, mom, if you're watching this, but um, a field book uh, and it's lined on the inside. Uh, keep up with your herd count, grocery list or messages with this field book. We imagine John Dutton carries something very similar in his shirt pocket daily. I would think so too, being a man from an older generation. Oh, I just saw the pattern. <laughs> now I know why Courtney said she's definitely gonna stitch this one. <laughs> okay, there's a little pouch. It looks like a needle minder. It says, don't make me send rip. I love him. <laughs> Oh, he's, oh, I love him so much. Um, okay. So we've got a floss ring with a really adorable horseshoe. All right, so we've got, ooh, wow. Oh, and now I know why. Uh, three skeins of inkwell, which looks like a black. We've got... 
two skeins of goldfinch, which is um like a gold mustard color. Ah, we've got two skeins of Viscount. This uh, is, again, I just showed it in my Bridgerton box. It's like a mahogany color. I think I ordered skeins of this one as well. More skeins of this one because um, I liked this one so much. Winter Wheat is, um, it's like a really pale yellow. Um, this is also part of their, their normal collection. And then Christmas Ivy also part of their normal collection. It's like a light green. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save the pattern for last. Uh, what do I need to say about this? 100% um, cotton, hand dyed, uh, multiple skeins of certain colors to make sure you'll have enough. Yeah, cause there's a lot of, a lot of color blocking on this one I can see. Um, so this is the fabric I ordered. 28 count cashel linen. Oh, I forgot to mention in the very beginning. Um, this was $99 and shipping was included. In case you were wondering. So it's like a, just a, oh, it's called Palomino, like the horse. So it's a tan color, like the horse. <laughs> I like this color. Again, with the neutral. I love it. Oh man, you guys, some of you, I know some of you are going to be kicking yourself for not buying this pattern. <laughs> okay. So this design is called sharks and minnows. For those of you who have seen the show, you know where this is going. It's my boy, Rip. <laughs> if Brett could grow a beard, he would look like this. But he <laughs> has no hair. <laughs> oh gosh, if you know Brett in real life, you know he has no hair. Um, he's like, Poor Guamanian. He's balding, but he's got like a W going. So now he just shaves his head and he really doesn't get much. He doesn't get much mountain man beard. My dad and my brother can like grow full on beards like this, like mountain men. Um, Brett cannot. He's got, he's got too many Pacific Islander, too much Pacific Islander in him. So that is a picture of Rip and it says, there's sharks and minnows in this world. If you don't know which one you are, you ain't a shark. So this is so great. I love this. I will be stitching this. I will be putting it on my nightstand to look at it every day. And Brett's just gonna have to deal with that. Um, okay. This was designed by Kelly King. I think she's the same one that designed the Downton pattern, um, which I also really liked that one. Uh, this pattern was designed especially for this box. We love Rip, so we felt like he was a good choice to be featured on this pattern. I would agree with that. And like I said, I think there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be wishing they hadn't skipped on this box. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, I missed one. It's a keychain. Oh, this is perfect because I need a new keychain on my keys. Okay. Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. Um, so that is going to be going on my keys that are right here. Uh, Yay. Oh, I liked this. This was a fun box. This was a fun box and I'm thoroughly obsessed with all the rip things. All the rip things. Oh God. 
he I love him and Beth and his wedding perfect for them it was like the perfect wedding for them um okay I think that's everything I'm gonna leave the keychain out so I can put it on my keys so I think that's it that is that's everything that's everything yeah that's everything so that's everything could I say that uh do I need to say it one more time? But that's everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, this quick update on my um, stitching, my previous finish, and unboxing two Forbidden Fiber, um, one one kit and one box. Um, I, gosh, I say this every time. I love Leanne's floss. So if you are looking to get into fancy floss and you want to go with somebody who is, you know, very much a small business, not like one of the big ones like um, Color and Cotton or Classic Color Works or Weeks Dye Works, um, and you want to go with, with somebody smaller, um, highly stressed, Leanne and Forbidden Fiber. Leanne in general is amazing she's great I love her um, and her company I just love uh, it makes me want to get into knitting maybe one day one hobby at a time guys <laughs> I know there are a couple of you who I know have been trying real hard to get me to start knitting um, I have tried knitting in the past it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be um, and which is why I did not keep up with it um, but yeah, uh, seeing all of her skeins of, of yarn makes me want to start knitting just so I can buy her yarn. So, um, but anyways, I will see you next time. And, uh, depending what, when it, this is the last week of April, my next video will probably be in, in two weeks. And I'm hoping it is when I am with my mom in Arizona and she can join me for a video. I have no idea if she's done any stitching. Um, I think she has. I think she has. Um, so we'll probably, so we'll probably do a video together when I'm in Arizona. And so part of that, because I don't think I'll have like a ton to talk about in terms of my stitching or her stitching is we could do like a Q&A. So if there's any questions you want to ask her or me or both of us together about cross stitch or not about cross stitch, I don't care, we'll answer anything. Um, then leave questions down below and I'll probably do a thing on Instagram about sending in questions for us to answer in our next video. So I will see you next time. Hope you have a great day or night wherever you're watching this. And I'll see you later. Bye.